The variable speed switch in your cordless tool performs several functions. First, it allows you to turn the tool on and off and adjust the motor speed. Second, it allows you to change the direction the motor rotates. And third, it has the contacts that the battery connects to. Over time, the switch can wear out, either not turning on or losing its ability to vary the speed of the motor. The battery contacts can break off or be melted by a shorted out battery. Replacing the variable speed switch is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi. I'm Mark Sochester. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing one half of the housing. There are two stickers across the housing that I'll need to cut with a knife. Now I can remove the old switch. I'll pull it out of the housing and remove the motor wires. I'll keep track of which wire goes where. Now I can install the new switch. I'll reconnect the wires. And place the switch back into the housing. As I do this, I want to make sure that I realign the tab on the reverse lever with the switch on the top of our power switch. Make sure everything's tucked out of the way. And now I can replace the housing. And I'll secure the housing with the screws. And that's how easy it is to replace the switch in your cordless tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.